So the end of uh, the uh, show yesterday, I think I was kind of getting this uh, disco light thing ready. And uh, there we are. There's all six bulbs working now. Just uh, had to plug them in at the back. And, uh, and there we go. So yesterday I realised that um, there was a lot of things that weren't happening, including sorting things out. A lot of editing um, and finding video files and labelling video files and deleting video files and copying them across and all this. But the house wasn't looking any better at all. So I spent quite a considerable amount of time bearing in mind I really wanted to be at rafters last night like more than anything and I really wanted to just go you know well well never mind let's get down there it's not going to hurt is it but I had to stay true to it so as, as uh, penance for even thinking of leaving I just I just carried on and I've carried on this morning and it's starting to look good so we'll go do what I traditionally do and switch Okay, so there we are, just to prove it. So there we are, that's that done. Um, this morning I've been trying to sort things out. I've been uh, finding paper to recycle. Here's a lot of screws and nails. Started to collect power transformers after yesterday. I found a lot of that sort of thing. Papers here, saucy, saucy, saucy photo of, uh, I think that's James Cameron. Um, uh, some speakers, so there's a lot of stuff here, um, some old computer bits, so that that's more or less it for that. Um, I, I just, I've just re, I've just um, emptied the dehumidifier. Now there's a little, little mess here again now because I emptied out a box to get some of the, uh, the other things sorted. So just turn on the flights as we go. It's actually really cold outside now, it's snowing. So yeah, so there was my workstation last night. It's a bit dark isn't it? Um, so these are still here. I've added to them a bit, actually. I'm worn out. This morning, I didn't go on the cross trainer this morning, I did what the man does when he's by himself. I'll talk about that later. I was a bit Disgusting for early morning viewing yesterday if you caught the morning show. So I'll try not to see that in the morning. Anything like that, any of those, these exercises of my own device that I've, I've been doing, I will, I will impart in the evenings. So that's almost exactly the same, except for this has been moved into prime position. So I need to fill in the, the screw parts there, which are holding the picture rail up. Okay. Uh, yeah. So, what did we get up to yesterday evening? So, I went in the loft. Excuse me. I do go around turning lights on and off. So, there's some stuff I got out of the loft here. And we might go through a box of this in a minute, or a bag full of stuff, just to talk you through the sort of stuff that I really want to keep. That's a miniature bass guitar that apparently the truss rod's got in it. The, the rod that goes through the, the main part of the guitar. Now in this box here, there was loads and loads of wires and they're now, they're just now passed around. Now I have so many wires now and I have this wire rack but they're not, they've got a bit out of order so I'm going to try and, you know, fix that up. A couple of mobile, old mobile phones turned up with charges as well. There's a lot of these power supplies that are because you never they never label power supplies with what they're for usually sometimes there's a clue like there's a big M on that so that's from an old Motorola phone either from the StarTac it might be for the StarTac thing I got now this pile here is all tested and it's all working everything there is working it's incredible even this, an old Commodore um, CD TV, works. Although I haven't got the boot disc, it needs Workbench 1.3. Let me see, I'll be able to track that down. Oh, that, I don't know why that's there. That works. Oh, I know why it's there, because I was... To check the MIDI gear, the audio gear, I had to have a video signal into this little telly before it would register there was an input, and then once that was putting out an input DVD, 
and I'd like to see works. So I've been putting little uh, labels on them, and this stuff doesn't work. All that doesn't work. A lot, most of it's not reading discs. Um, so I don't know how difficult that is to fix. I think that one at the end's got something a bit weird going on with it. So yeah, so it's got a little bit, a little bit squiffy. I did do some paper recycling, which was good. Um, oh, to use the MIDI, the MIDI controller I used was uh, was that one of those little guitar key tiles I've got. It's got a MIDI out, believe it or not. So that was driving. Oh yeah, you want to know, don't you? If you, because I know a few people watching know know about all this old stuff. So. Oh, hang on. I guess it won't hurt. I'll put things there. Right, they've got this Yamaha AWFM sound expander. This uses um, little bits of samples to do the piano sounds. The piano sounds are very authentic. This very cheap cut down synthesizer still works. Sounds are pretty atrocious, but you could actually. Connecting it to a PC, you had software that you could edit it. Actually, on the screen, you could almost draw waveforms for it to play. I think, if I remember rightly, it's just cool at the time. And the one, <laughs> you can't. What's the point? This one, hang on. This one here, back in the day, was quite sought after. Roland U110 PCM sound module. Don't know why I bother showing you. That's so out of focus and dark. But maybe I should get a little light I can walk around with. That's not a bad idea. Oh, it's getting a little bit so that works. That has some nice sounds on it actually. I particularly like the choir sound on the old equipment. You get this sort of, oh, but lots of, oh, isn't it? That's quite good. So this is some of the stuff from the lockdown. I started to bring down boxes because some of this stuff I still have. And if it's retro, actually keeping the boxes is a good thing. So it makes me think maybe um, we'll take this somewhere where it's like. Maybe that's not such a bad thing, you know. Is it, how light is it in here? It's nice to get some daylight. No, not really. Okay. I found some humorous hats which maybe will make an appearance. Maybe I'll make that my thing when I go down to the old uh, studios or the rafters. Or the uh, so, poetry night I missed last, uh, the night before last. And, uh, oh, oh that is quite light in here, isn't it? Um, okay, I'll just. I'll just move this chair over here. Oh, I'm very excited that I've, I've been in touch with someone who's very good at making things out of recycled materials and she's actually agreed to come over now. I don't know whether she'll let me film her but we're going to go through some of my old clothes and I'm going to pick out the clothes which have the patterns I like that are completely shagged and then I'm going to try and she's going to teach me how to make a crew out of them. So this is the sort of thing I've been rescuing from the loft that I want to keep or at least might be worth something to someone. <sighs> so that's droopy. Oh no, it's not droopy, is it? That's, um... Oh my goodness. I've completely forgotten who he is. Huckleberry, Cam Huckleberry Hounds, there we are. There's a bit of, uh... Now I don't know if this goes off because it never seems to have a use-by date so I'm guessing that suntan lotion is one of those things that lasts forever I don't know I've got a microphone there now I've got a few microphones and I don't know where they all are but that's one of them oh, that's a lead, that didn't make it to where it should be I have no idea what that lead is for though it might be a disk drive one this is something I bought probably in a sale for five pounds, which used, I used to buy stuff in sales um, up in London where I was working in the sales quite often for the next Secret Santa. So people would like to be surprised at it. It's amazing gifts for what would be worth a fiver. Here's a cute little hedgehog. Let's see. He's a bit whiffy. Maybe if I give him a wash, that'll be 
for someone special. A lot of remote controls up in the loft. That is for that's for a laser display, which I have before, like I said. I've tested two. The third one I couldn't test because I've nicked the plug off it. There's another Star Wars thing that's turned up. Okay, it's off. That's a bootleg CK uh, wallet, um, which is obviously plastic rather than leather. But I got quite a few bootleg things when I was in Thailand. I also just got some normal things while I was in Thailand. So, this, this is from a place I went to in Chiang Mai, just outside Chiang Mai, they do these amazing fans and they decorate mobile phones as well. If you just pay them a bit of cash and ask for a design, they'll actually do a, a design for you on the back, which is cool. So I've got a couple of those fans which haven't found homes yet. So they, they see a lot of this stuff I'm tempted to give to my nieces, but I don't think they'll keep hold of them. Now that, I think, is the base for the lightsaber I've got. So I guess I'll have to keep that, put it with that. I've got a lot of these mp3 player cases so I'm sure I'll try and find some good homes for those I think that some of the gang some of the in crowd I call them the, the friends I've had for the very longest time really I think I could treat some of them there we are, it's Winnie the Pooh and there's some more of those mp3 covers you see it, it goes on and on but you, can you see why I'm not throwing these away can you understand look at that whole mp3 thing not even used which is ridiculous. I think that was like five dollars or something. That's why I got it. Oh, these are great. The, uh, now where are those from? I'm not sure, but they're gorgeous. They're like card. They're like. Um, what? I don't know if that's allowed. Beautiful though, isn't it? I think that might have been from Thailand market. They had a music festival. I was going to leave this place called uh, Banfe, and then all of a sudden they started setting up these inc this incredible music festival. They really know how to do it out there. We honestly haven't got a clue in this country how to do um, fiestas, and if we do do music things, quite often now it's corporate, holy crap, and it costs a bloody fortune. This is being eaten away, and I think the batteries have started to leak, which is a shame. But uh, it's of its day, I guess you could say, it's an organiser. So you can have people's telephone numbers and addresses and everything in it. And uh, so in a way, I guess to that on a phone, and you're nearly halfway there, a really mobile phone. What's that? Oh, well, there's a box of money here, which is all the money I had left over from all the places I went to, but it's all like the... The bits and pieces aren't really worth anything, he says, thinking that it's probably not worth anything. Now another Pez. Really Pez holder. Pez holders seem to, you know, do their thing, don't they? There's Zebedee. Now I don't know if Zebedee's missing something. I don't think so. But, you know, I think he might be missing a his spring ability. He's on the, from the evil golden arches see. some of the stuff I've got is from the I used to go and get the um, battery charge I don't know if that still works some of the things I got from the evil McDonald's I used to get the kiddies meals because uh, sometimes the stuff you got that's one of the things I bought for my around the world trip never used never used that for but it just said one of the things there's some stickers like, uh, tiger stickers which may be with the release of uh, Life of Pi that might actually be well sought after so I don't know I mean I'd love to just walk around town with this stuff dangling off me trying to sell it but I don't know I love comedians they're great if you ever see one in the flesh you get close to one they really look at you like they know what's going on so and this is upstairs on one of my shelves well it, it isn't this is the base for it this is the base for the alien it's sitting upstairs and there's a face hugger now. I know there's another face hugger somewhere. Do that better. So they're really one of the most terrifying things ever developed for any movie. Yeah. 
So that's that. Uh, sorry there hasn't been any music really. Um, but yeah, as you can see, I've made the best here. But actually, I've achieved quite a lot and I found um, a thing I'd already copied onto my computer because I was looking at this other computer and it had some stuff on it, including um, a program called Taste the Smell that were made when I was at Forces TV. We went up to this place to make a program and and uh, I've got the whole thing. I have uploaded the whole thing but I'm not going to make that public yet. I don't know if I should. There's a few people in there who might not like that. I don't know. I'm going to check it. But there was a performance part of it that I actually, I kind of directed but if you're in the gallery you'll see it was a lot of shouting and a lot of which happens in all, every TV gallery everyone's shouting, abusing swearing at each other a couple of black eyes at the end of it but it was an okay result um, I did plead with them to let me just change one edit um, because there was a bit where I'd cut to it and the camera was all over the place. But there was only one bit, which was surprising because, we, as I say, it was like a complete wrestling match going on for most of it. Um, yeah, so that's all good. So uh, later on tonight, there'll be a, a late night um, thing where I will. some people are going to get really turned off by it, but that's their problem. But so... Um, going to be showing you really good technique doing what a man does when he is by himself and it, it avoids overdeveloping um, your arm okay so whichever arm that is so I will see you later thank you very much I'm going to cook something nice for myself now I figure it's uh, only fair because it is Sunday so I'll have roast sausages maybe and uh, and some pasta I've run out of potatoes. All right, hint, hint. Bye now.